there's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. Ah. Act natural. Nobody's looking. Okay. This is a Judas reading. Why not? Huh? Sometimes you get bored and you look back and you look at something you wrote down and you say, geez, that meant something to me at some point. I hope it could mean something to someone else. I'm on your side. I do believe the whole five to ten minute episode would make a pretty good short film of what it looks like to crush a person's dream. I was in the mountains of Tibet at this time. Look, I, I, you may not want to believe it, but it's all written. It's all been said. And it's all been meant. It would end 90 years down the road with a broken man thinking about how he could have played frisbee and it would be called regret or maybe him just frisbee you get 90 years to give up on your hope for fucking being able to say what you want look at that i i wrote it down oh oh We'd moved into the tree line and set up camp. And although the biting wind was still whipping through the trees, I, I got to believe it was better than it would have been out there in that field. That field where even a frisbee couldn't fly right. Oh. Wind probably would have picked us up right out of the tent and dropped us back on the other side of the pass. We'd just come over. Then what? I mean, come on, man. Every step we take is a step into the future. And if you go over someplace and you got some guy going, you can't stay here. <laughs> you don't need to go home, but you can't stay here. If you've got no place else to go, then it could just throw you over back to the other side. And then what have you got? You got to keep moving forth. Just remember. If you don't get educated and you're not able to make your own way in life, then uh, you will be forever enslaved by your ancestry. Um, then what? Then we'd waste the half days rations making up lost time then we'd had to climb over the thing again carrying over our gear because the burl would have thrown the guy on the horse's back they'd said fuck it and headed home the way they'd come then we'd have been attacked by a murmuring, fluttering, and flash of ravens. As we tried getting over the pass a second time, the mountain doesn't like backtracking pilgrims. 
for their coming on. And it felt like we were alone out there. Alone, other than the Tibetans coming out of the woodwork into our campsite. They'd stand looking at us, and the guy would run them off. I don't know if they were thieving bandits or what. I was glad nobody had me covered in cold mud, singing and dancing around the fire. Ah, it's all written right there. Is it, is it, is it, is this a problem you have? If you've got a problem not understanding how these things works, work, it's because you haven't seen them. Ah, they'd stand looking at us and the guy would run them off. I don't know if they were thieving bandits or what. I was glad nobody had me covered in cold mud, singing and dancing around the fire. For some reason, I brought along the leg cap the army issued me back in my day. If you cannot get a message out of this story, it's because you don't understand that the people that you don't understand are okay with you. And they let you go. I'm here to tell you the story. Look at that. The army requires a soldier to earn the right to wear a beret. 